What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. In the last part, we made a bunch of nukes. We have a shitload of nukes around. We also got an XCOM squad, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, we trade it for uranium. We gave people a bunch of money. And in return, we got resources that allow us to make nukes, even though people, or mostly Caesar, is already afraid of me. And even, you know, just despite that fact, he still gave me a bunch of uranium. Uh, we're building several parts of the spaceship that we're going to, uh, to make. Let's actually purchase a spaceship factory right there in Makassar. So let's take a look here. We have a nuke in Jakarta in Batman, and we have a nuke in Edinburgh. And we're building another one in Madan. So it's pretty dope. So, from the looks of it, and I'm not, I actually don't like this, we might be able to finish the game in this video. And the reason I'm not a big fan of it is because I am a, a little bitch with OCD, and uh, this is part 29, I'm pretty sure it is at least. And I don't know if any of you actually make YouTube videos, if every, every, you know, if someone's watching this and you're like, oh, I make videos. Um, I just like it when a series is like a, just a nice amount of parts, you know, if it's like 25 or an even number, it just looks weird when it's an odd number, when it's like 27 or 29. Well, you, you know, you just want to go for that, for that even 30. Uh, but I guess we will see what happens, I might do a little bonus part at the end of it, in which I go over everything again. Oh, let's get Charles Draper over here. Uh, mechanized infantry can go to rest. I upgraded pretty much all of my units. Except for that one. Helicopter gunship. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one can get an upgrade as well, so that's good. And this one gets an upgrade to bazooka. And this one gets an upgrade, and that one does not. This one definitely needs upgrades, but we don't have oil, so that's kind of unfortunate. Let's just delete this unit then. Because he's costing me a bunch of money every turn. And because I upgraded everything, I'm gonna have to click, you know, chill out every single time. Oh, I still have an infantry over here and over there. They're gonna need upgrades. Open borders, huh? You got it. Because I'm pretty sure that my tourism will spread faster if we have open borders, so... I'm just gonna go for it here. We are getting very popular with the Venetians and the Germans. And Rome is actually going pretty fast as well. They're even growing faster. My tourism over there is growing faster, or my influence, than it's growing with the Songhai. And Austria is, is going very, very slow. Uh, because I get no bonuses there, and they probably have a whole lot of culture. And it's basically going to take me forever to really, you know, grow influent over there. So that kind of blows. Yerevan wants culture, don't really care. Golden Age has ended. Attila's constructing the Apollo program. We have a nuke. This one can go to sleep. A uh, helicopter gunship. We have this one, and then we have that one, and then we have this dude. And a cargo ship. Same story as earlier, just make me a whole bunch of money. And also, let's give upgrades to, um, to you. Military base. What if I have them make the SS engine? And I hurry production. And there you go. That's uh, another part that we're going to make somewhat quickly. Um, what else do I really want? Spaceship factory, bomb shelter. Just make me a candy. I don't really care anymore because this, this game is going to be over pretty soon. And um, I might do a short bonus video, which I'm going to call part 30. In which uh, I'm just going to nuke some people. I, I don't really need aluminum anymore, uh, sucker. I've got enough of that. What will you give me for dyes? Okay. Just give me something. You know what? I've got your back. You can have it for free. Because I don't care anymore, that's why. 34 from cities. You can actually see the amount of cities that people have, which is kind of cool. I like that. By their, uh, by their score. There's still missionary going around. This guy still cares about his... Religion? Uh, nobody cares, dude. Just let it go. Game is as good as over. It is 
I'm hoping that by around the year 2030, people are going to stop caring about religion as much, but I guess not. Ormus wants blah blah is in awe of me. I'm my piety. I am now allies with them. No more aluminum from the sucker. World ideology order. Most people will say yes. International space station. Oh, look at that. So let's see. Oh, the number one gets the International Space Station wonder, which gives you plus one production from scientists, plus one science from engineers. Great scientists provide plus 33% more science when used to discover new technology. May only be built collaboratively through the World Congress. You get a free great scientist and a one-time um, one research boost. So obviously this sounds really awesome and we need to work towards that. So let's put some points into it. I'm pretty sure that most people are going to say yes anyway, but... <clears throat> Let's just go for it here. Um, just chill. We have another cargo ship. Make me some cash. Is that what we're going for? Also, soon we're going to be able to make some giant death robots. Which I am very much okay with because that's amazing. I've never actually made one of those, I'm pretty sure. Same goes for the XCOM squad. I got this one for free from um, Mabanza Congo, I believe. Sky Ranger. That's really cool. May power drop with extended range. 40 hexes so they can basically use their Sky Ranger, which is you know that little vehicle thing they, they fly around to um to drop off at pretty much anywhere they want as long as it's within 40 squares. So that's really cool. For some reason, the Mongolian fleet is still here, it has been sitting here for probably at least 100 turns. It's pretty ridiculous, but they've been around since like part. I don't know what part. I should probably go back and check that out because it's hilarious, but I don't even know. Um, shit. Okay. International Space Station. Actually, let's do it in everything that is not building a part. Because I do want to make it. <clears throat> but making parts right now is definitely more beneficial, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't really need that much more science because I'm already doing really well. Uh, so that means that most of my cities are going to be working on it, but not all of them. But, you know, who, who, who knows? I might still have a shot at getting number one, which I would be cool with. <clears throat> but it's not really necessary. Attila's declared war on the Mongolians. What is the thought there? Yeah, you got it. Urus declared war on Dondolo because their new ally is Rome. So Rome is at war with Dondolo? I don't really like that too much. Rome has denounced Mongolia. Another research agreement, Germany and Austria. Man, this world is really fucked up. Just really... I wonder if, uh... If there's even, you know, still gonna be some action because... Everybody's just kinda sitting there. And I'm pretty sure that no one's gonna be wiped out anymore, but whatever. Nuclear fission. Or fusion, sorry. Attila's playing against Dondolo. He's building up for a sneak attack. I'm obviously going to go let him know because I don't like uh, Attila that much. And I do like Dondolo, so... Hey, sucker. Salute. There you go. He loves me, but he's still guarded. Because he's afraid of me. Uh, how we doing here? Germany is very popular. We're growing very... Songhai just increased by a whole bunch, I believe. Venice is almost there. Austria is the only one that's still going very slowly. If only we had open borders with them. Let's see if they're interested in, in such a trade. Oh, yes, How about an embassy? You suck, she doesn't like me too much, but on the other hand, she's kind of like, oh, I guess he's okay. Das Please. Kann ich euer Ernst sein? Please, can we just do it? Can we trade for gems? Wie bitte? Oh, yeah, because this is a fair deal. Jesus Christ, that's f five luxury resources. And holy fuck, you are delusional. That will not be happening anytime soon. Let's see, we have three more texts that we really need to research. Or, you know, need to research. Not really, actually. Um, Stealth bomber, jet fighter, modern armor is really great, though. But I want to go with globalization because that's going to give me some extra votes in the uh, World Congress. Only a few more, but it's still going to be pretty cool, I assume, so... Let's just go for that. Three, five, four. So it's not going as fast as the uh, other thing that we did, International Games or something like that. 
So hopefully, I'm gonna actually um, contribute with Jakarta after this because they're gonna be done making the stasis chamber. No, I'm okay. I am not gonna be going to war with anybody, ever. Bismarck has completed the Manhattan Project. Wow, Germany, really, really fast. Germany sucks. Not in real life, though. Germany's a pretty cool country, but just in Civ, Germany sucks. Please do not take offense. Oh, I forgot to take a look at the demographics again. Still number one in everything. We are 16% more literate than average. And we have everything. We are number one in everything except for population. But the rest of it is, is just fine. And even population is pretty fine. Uh, stasis chamber. Send her up to the spaceship, boys. Next up. We can make another SS booster. Or we can, you know, for now... Folks on the International Space Station, which is going to be done pretty soonish, I hope. And we're going to have one or no, two more spaceship parts done. And then all that's left is the booster, which we can make in like seven turns. So I'm pretty sure we've got this one in the pocket. Unless someone steals my victory away from me at like the last second. In which case, I'll just reload and win anyway, because it's kind of a matter of principle right there. I will not be losing to any of these suckers. Someone made a mine on the snow. Still haven't built anything on the aluminum. I mean, what's the point even of making Ravenna? And how is it growing? He's probably sending food over there with a, <clears throat> a caravan or something like that. Because there is no way that he's actually earning enough money. Or what? Earning enough money that he's actually getting enough food there. Pentagon... Biblos is amazed by me. That's great. I will never replace Austria as their ally because they've got like a way too too big of an influence on them. So that kind of sucks. But okay. Uh, yep, we got it. Uh, four more turns. Four more turns. We're gonna have two more parts in four turns. So that's great. And it should still give us enough time to make the last part that we really need in Jakarta. And then I think we're pretty much there. That's gonna be the end of it. So. I might make this part slightly shorter than I usually do, like about 20 minutes. And then I'll just finish the spaceship in the next part and actually use all those nukes and just nuke the shit out of Caesar and whatnot because he's the closest to me. Uh, because that could be fun, you know? And I'm, you know, a lot of people have been saying, use the nukes, use the nukes. And I would like to use the nukes, that's not it, because I love them. But the thing is that when I actually do use them, People are going to get very, very upset with me, and they might... Oh, look at that. 41% complete. Caesar's plotting against Attila. Don't really care enough to share the intrigue anymore, because Attila is kind of a douchebag, and I'm fine with that guy dying. Uh, did they take the city from the Mongolians? They were right next to each other somewhere. Down here, I think. Down there. Yeah, so that city has indeed been razed. All that remains is this little... Well, it's still a city. That's kind of weird. Um, but I guess they're done there. Great War Bomber, Fighter. From the looks of it, nobody else has nukes. And that's what I like to see. I want to have a monopoly on nukes. I don't want any kind of uh, mutually assured destruction going on. I will be the only person who is going to be doing some destructing. So let's, you know, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to finish the game probably in the next part. Then I'm going to nuke Caesar. Yeah, I'm going to nuke you. Oh shit, I just paid 9 gold. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to nuke Caesar from here. So I'm going to have another nuke uh, relocated to Surabaya. One from Jakarta. We're going to nuke uh, Neapolis. And maybe we can reach it. We're going to nuke that place. And then from Batman and maybe Dublin or Edinburgh, we're going to nuke the shit out of Kukia. Because why not? Just, you know, to, to take a little look at what's going to happen there. So that is the plan. We are 54% complete. We are well into the second tier. World leader. You need 39 delegates. I have the most. Uh, together with Austria. But still, no one is going to become world leader. I mean, that's for sure. So if I would actually want to actually uh, get there, 
I would have to become friends with every single city-state there is, which is, I mean, there's a lot of them. There's probably almost 20 or something, like 16, I have no idea. Um, Manhattan Project, wow, just now, you're so fast. You idiot. And then also I would have to actually bribe someone, maybe, <clears throat> you know, to give me their vote. Which I'm pretty sure is not going to be easy, so that would be pretty annoying to do. The diplomatic victory is not as easy as it used to be, because in the past it was, you know, just wait for the World Congress or whatever, or the, uh, the UN, and just bribe every single city-state there is, so they become your friends. Pentagon, that's good for you, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. We get another one of these bad boys. Maintenance paid on roads and railroads reduced by 50%. I don't really know how much it is, but it probably isn't even that much. Uh, purchasing of Landsknechts, I don't really care about those because it's 2033, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's just go for this one. I mean, that's a small, tiny, little, cute increase in gold earned, so I'm cool with it. Spaceship parts, come to me. I am going into space. Indonesia can into space. Pretty sure that the International Space Station is mine. So, that's what I like to see. I want to be number one always. Pretty happy so far with the way this game has turned out because I had this terrible start. And I was pretty sure I was, you know, never going to win this game. And I'm pretty positive that most people agreed with that. They thought, yeah, he's never going to win. Uh, and then, you know, it turned out pretty good. So, I like it. I like it. Pentagon is done. Good for you, I guess. My spy only told me like one turn before they were done. No more oil from Bismarck. Attila's plot against Maria Theresa. Let's give her a heads up about that one. Hey, girl. Oh, yes, it's. So that guy's trying to kill you. I just thought you might want to know. How about some open borders? That is not really fair, so I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Uh, Makassar, I don't... I do have a spaceship factory here, so maybe I could get... Uh, that's gonna take way too long. Let's, make, let's just make a military base. Let's send the engine over. Uh, airlift mode over to Jakarta. Let's airlift mode this over to Jakarta as well. Oh, they, they can't right now, obviously. That blows. Let's just send it right next to the city. And how long will it take you? 12 turns. That sounds doable. Although I would prefer to just make it in... Um, let's set you to that. And let's have you make the last part that we need. So basically in 8 more turns, we're gonna have, we're actually going to be there. That is it. And seeing as most people are still working on stupid stuff like... Um, Manhattan Project... Which has only just, you know, been done, and I've had it... Let's see, it was probably three videos ago, so that must have been at least 40 turns or something. It's a little embarrassing for all the people in this game. And then, you know, the number two, which is, I'm pretty sure, Caesar... Um... Wait, what is this? No, wait, 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 wait advisor. We have seen a number of the Mongolian Empire units around our borders. This may be a prelude to an attack, whatever. Songhai, the Roman Empire. Okay, Askia is sneak attacking someone. Good luck doing that, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, Asa's engine has been completed. Seven more turns, sucker. So actually, I'm going to keep doing this video until the, um, the International Space Station is done. And at that point, I'm going to just, you know, cut the video. And then in the next part, we're actually going to... Um, to finish this game, launch some nukes, so that part will be slightly longer. I just don't want to make this one part in which all I do is fire a bunch of nukes. So I figured, let's actually put that victory that we are probably going to get in um, an actual part. And not just, you know, ru just rush it. That's not what I want to do right now. Batman. I am psyched. I just want to nuke some people right now. Which probably isn't a good quality. There we go. 
Building one space station for everyone was and is insane. We should have built a dozen. I've never made this before. But it's really cool. So I was, holy shit, I was... Okay, uh, definitely number one. The Globalization moon. is there. Let's fire you up into space. Boom! SS booster completed. Last one is on the way there. Now, let's have you... Holy fuck, that is a lot of science that we're getting now, so... Lasers, we can finish that basically in one turn. It's already done right now. But that's crazy. The last one is stealth, and then all that's left is future attack, which doesn't give you anything. So, that's pretty sick. Uh, Batman, just make me an XCOM squad, I guess. Make some units. We're gonna wage a little bit of war in the next part to see if anyone really has it in them to face me. Let's make some retardedly strong units like, you know, giant death robots and uh, XCOM squads, you know, things of that nature. Uh, still have an infantry. Let's see if it have him get an upgrade. U2 modern armor. We have that now. Modern armor. I'm pretty sure is really good. It's actually stronger than a mechanized infantry, so... There you go. Bazooka doesn't get an upgrade yet. Submarine is still submarine. This one could probably get an upgrade, but I'm not sure which one or, you know, what kind of upgrade you would give it. But I guess it's it's not available yet. So, I'm actually going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a like. In the next part, we're going to win this game. It's only six more turns and we will be done. After which, we will be waging some imp pretty impressive war on uh, probably Rome and Askia. And maybe someone else. I don't know. I'm going to try and make it like a 30 minute part. So let's just see how much destruction we can really cause in those uh, 30 minutes. So thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next part.